to be one of the best milkshakes I've had in a long time. I'm up with the Alex Rina Cheese Company in Mount Jagged. With Dan, the cheesemaker, how are you? Good. Benjamin. How's your milkshake? Absolutely sensational. Fresh milk this morning. Really? Is that the secret? It is. And is it, what, what's the, the milk? The milk from Jersey cows? Is it? Yes, we milk 80 Jersey cows here and, uh, and uh, all grass fed. So. Um, lovely green, we've had some beautiful rains and uh, we've got some sensational growth. Do you only use your own milk or what do you do? Yes, um, at the moment, just, uh, just the milk from those cows coming in to make um, all of our cheeses. Cheese is our specialty, in particular hard cheeses. Okay, well let's go through those cheeses. What do we got and what's you, what's, what are you famous for? We've, we've fit into a bit of a niche and we've, we've, we've gone back in time too, we're making some some Edam cheese, and cheddar is our specialty. Um, a mature cheddar, a vintage cheddar. The vintage is about 18 months old, and a Romano with black peppercorns in it. So, and that one's uh, 18 months old too, so. So how, what's the process of, of from, from, from the farm to sort of the fully made cheese there? What's the, what's the process? It, it takes about five or six hours to, to um, of the day to, to make that cheese from, from milk into the vat to cheese in the press at the end of the day. So, so these are the ones behind us are, were, were yesterday made? Or? These were made yesterday, yes we made. We've, we've made a different cheese uh, each day through the week, so the Eden was, uh, this was uh, made on Friday yesterday, so, um, and there's some other older cheeses. The one in the black wax there is the old, the old 18 month, and it's just, uh, Kept in the store here at uh, 12 degrees, so turned a couple of times a week. Um, and what does the turning do? Uh, it stops the cheese from changing shape, and because uh, it's it's um, it's mobile, it's it's soft, and it's uh, it, it will bell out at the bottom if you don't turn it in for any. Okay, and then, is that waxed it before that, or is it, it's got a, a wax over the top of it? Where, uh, we make a put a cloth on it. Probably one of five in Australia that are actually putting, uh, making cloth pound cheddar. Yeah, that's just like regular cheese cloth you're using in cooking as well, right? Uh, yes, yep. yes. It's um, very fine. Uh, it's actually woven, not knitted, so yeah. it, it's, uh, it's quite uh, quite a unique um, process to do it. And how much cheese are you making? Um, we, we don't make a huge volume of cheese, Benjamin. It's uh, so it would be about 40 tonnes for the year. So, so you're very moment. much still a farmhouse cheese production. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and farmhouse means from the farm into the house, into the, <laughs> into the cheese house in, in one day. Yeah. So yeah, pretty short uh, production life okay. for the whole product. Yeah. So let's get tasting. I'll, I'll just cut, cut this even in okay. half. We use a wire to cut it, so um, it just makes it so easy. To push a knife through there, we, Oh, that's right. a huge effort. And if you look at that, there's some lovely round eyes in there. We call these uh, round eye cheeses, and they're lovely glossy, um, shiny on the inside. And this stuff just melts in the mouth. You might just cut another slice off that. What do those, those holes mean? Is it just where it's been formed? and it, It's just the culture working, and uh, it tells me that the cheese has been made um, so you make this one then? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the uh, characteristics of a, an Edom or is just that it's flexible and it's just um, a really soft, um, lovely texture. It, hope you have a try of that. Mm. We make three eye cheeses, we make an Edam, and we make a Gouda, and, and a Gouda with caraway seed. That'd be nice. Uh, so a sweet, spicy hint from the caraway and the Gouda. Mm. And uh, these we're selling at about six to nine months of age, so, so they, um, the other, the, uh, the other cheeses here, and the main cheese that we make are cheddars. This, the uh, mature cheddar is about 12 months old, and cheddars, a totally different process to the eye cheeses. We've got um, curd that's stretched in an open vat, um, and totally different 
cheddar will actually break, crumble. Yeah. And as it gets older, it becomes more crumbly. And you can see that lovely golden colour. That's Jersey milk and and all the keratin from the grass that's coming getting melted mm-hmm. into the cheese. That's that's a natural golden colour. Like it's not sharp. Sometimes you taste, taste cheddars and they're really sharp and they're really like, you know, but that's really soft and, and rounded. And Mellow. Yeah. 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 So what's the difference in the flavour profile between the 12 month and the 18 month? It's enormous. Uh, each month that it matures, it changes, uh, becomes more bitey. So you might pick up a bit more of that sharpness with this older cheese. Um, you can't keep it forever, but um, in the wax like this, we can keep it a long time. It could be up to two years or even more. But one of the problems we've had is that customers come and say we want some of that old cheddar, and, and, and we can't keep we it. We don't stop off. <laughs> <laughs> we try. So what would you say is the most popular cheese out of all? What do you sell? Um, just probably the mature cheddar is the most popular, but uh, certainly the two older cheddars are the most popular, and they buy the number one um, position. Okay. Um, but you, you taste this vintage. This is this is just awesome. This is this uh, vintage cheddar won a silver medal at uh, at a cheese show in uh, Jersey Island about a month ago. These two. It's um, it's just amazing. The last one we've got here is a, a Romano with black peppercorns, and that's our potato. And uh, just amazing. And we've tasted the cheeses in from sweetest through to strongest. Mm-hmm. And, and really, it's a, if you tasted this one first, you wouldn't taste the subtle flavours in the Edom. <laughs> But yeah, just a, a really strong uh, aroma. Yeah. Um, but it's not peppery. It's not out of, out of this world peppery. It's amazing that uh, those peppercorns have been in there for eighteen months, and and it's, the flavour's just there. The pepper flavour's there, but not the spiciness of it. So tell us about the operation you've got here. You've got a cafe in the cheese company at the side mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Yep. On the uh, this is. Uh, the shop or uh, cheesery as we call it. So, and it's right next to where the cheese is being produced and the customers can look in the window here behind us. And do you, do you make it every day of the week? Or yes, the, week days or? the, the uh, guys are working in here um, uh, every day so customers can come in and have a look and see what's happening in the cheese factory. And, and uh, sometimes I think uh, I catch the uh, staff looking out the other way too. <laughs> So do you have a website where people can get information? We do, it? yes, and uh, it's alexandrinacheese.com. So yeah, easy to find. Oh, I am, absolutely. Excellent. Well, when you're in the McLaren Vale region, make sure you drop in and have a look at some of the fantastic cheeses these guys are making. A special thanks to Sandy Holmes at the McLaren Vale Grape, Wine and Tourism Association who organised our trip down to McLaren Vale. Plus Tori and David from the producers for their hospitality during our trip. To learn about my experiences in McLaren Vale and watch some of the videos that I made while I was down there, visit my website www.benjaminchristie.com.